This video will familiarize you with the three keys you received with your vehicle. A main key, identified by White Wings, an emergency key, plus a spare key. The spare key is identical in function to your main key. We recommend you use this key when you valet your vehicle or in instances where your main key might become damaged. You can use either key to perform the basic functions of unlocking, locking and releasing the boot of your Aston Martin. Your car may also have an optional keyless entry feature. This allows you to lock and unlock your vehicle while the key is in your pocket or handbag. To unlock your car, simply push on the front of the handle. To lock your car, push on the rear of the handle. Please keep in mind, a security feature only allows unlocking of the door you're standing next to. This key will also allow you to perform more advanced functions. You can globally open your Aston Martin by pushing down and holding the unlock button. This will automatically open any windows and unlock your vehicle. It will also open the roof on the volante. Similarly, you can globally close your vehicle by pushing down and holding the lock button. This will close all the windows and lock the doors. It will also close the roof on the volante. Another feature you may find useful is the single door unlock feature. If you hold both the lock and unlock button simultaneously for six seconds, it will toggle between single door unlock and all doors unlock. When in the single door unlock setting, a second press of the unlock button will unlock the passenger door. To conserve the battery of your Aston Martin key, double-click the lock button to disable your key. To reactivate your key, press any button when near your vehicle. To replace the battery in your key, simply remove the back of the key. Your Aston Martin is also supplied with an emergency key. This should be used if you're unable to access your car with the main or spare key. We recommend you keep this key in a secure and easily accessible location. Do not leave it in your vehicle. Please note that due to security protocols, it takes several weeks to replace this key. You may need to unlock your Aston Martin with the emergency key, should the battery die in the main key or if the car battery is low. You will need to locate the lock cylinder hidden behind the driver's side door handle. Push the front of the door handle and insert the key to unlock the door. To start your car in the event your key battery is dead, first remove the back of the main or spare key. Then press the release button and remove the key cap, enabling you to plug in the key. The key dock is located between the cup holders in the center console. Should you need to replace the battery of your vehicle, please note that it is located under the right rear passenger seat. If the car battery voltage is low and requires a jump, you will find battery jump points located under the bonnet. To manually open the bonnet on DB11 and DBS, you will need to access the emergency release cables. There are two. Each one is located just below the dash in both the driver and passenger footwell. We hope you found this video helpful and that you now understand the differences and functions of the main key, emergency key and the spare key.